Did you know that there are over 600 killer add-ons in Dead Daylight? Some of them are super overpowered, others fairly weak, but amongst those 600 are some hidden underrated gems that almost no one knows about. In this video I want to showcase what I believe to be the 5 most underrated killer add-ons in Dead by Daylight. I hope you enjoy. The first add-on I want to showcase is probably the best survivor tracking tool in the game, Demogorgon's Leprosen Lichen add-on. Every time Demo uses a portal, it reveals every survivor's aura for a few seconds. Hiding from this is literally impossible. This is Demo's strongest add-on and I can count on one hand how often I've played against a Demo using it in my 9000 hours of experience. Portal 2 gens and now we will see where everyone is and no one is on gens. Our totem is in a pretty bad spot but let's try to cut this guy off from the main building. Very nice. Well done. That is the first hit though. And Blood Favor is activating. He is running back to my spawn. This is not the worst decision. Teammates can do gens freely now, but... Nice. Someone is running behind me. That's good. And Blood Favor is blocking the pallet, so there's no way they can pallet save, even though they're trying. Hello, Hedy. Let's put this on the Scout Shock. We have Pain Rest and Pop, which is a super good combo to regress generators in general. And if they're smart, they will catch on by this, but almost no one uses this add-on, so... It has the advantage of never being used. Our Blood Favor didn't last that long. That's okay. We got value already. Luckily, he doesn't make the main vault. He has to drop the god pad instantly. And he doesn't know about it. Let's go. You can hit through the fence there. I mean, I could run all the way to the corner. I don't think it's worth it, though. All right, pop on this generator. And now let's portal for info again. This guy finished the main building. I don't see him upstairs. Oh, hello. Guess we don't really need to portal here. He just shows himself. Free hit. And I'll obviously take this chase. It's a good one for me. Interesting. He chooses to run the short side. He gets it though. Nice. Too greedy for his own good though. I can get that hit. Very nice. Doesn't look like anyone is around. That pain rest coming in. And we can part of this gen real quick. Activate both parts and... See where everyone is thanks to Lycan. You seem to be really good survivors, though. Is it? Trying to go wide, but I know what's going on here, lady. And that is a hit, too. Very nice. Proving to be worth. Oh, gen finishes. They're pretty good on the gen speed, I'm gonna be honest. But they're probably resetting Jeff. I can teleport back to this gen. And I think they're about to finish the reset, right? Yep, we see them resetting right next to the portal. They chose not to finish it, actually. Very interesting. I can see your buddy. You see, even though I make it fairly obvious what's going on with my portaling in the beginning, the survivors did not catch on. I'm pretty sure there's a pre-med pre group too, because they brought party streamers and one map offering. But yeah, this is the thing. If you never play against this add-on, then you you never realize how to play against it. Probably the strongest aura add-on or park in Dead by Daylight in total. Ooh, the LOD is broken. Did she deliverance herself? I think I will go for Nia, though. Oh no, it's LOD. Okay. Um, you touch that generator, there's no way you have faster strike up. Very nice. I need a few more parts. I'm gonna put one here. Maybe later on that's gonna be useful. We cannot activate it at this time though. Let's go towards the middle and put one portal back. Getting rid of portals takes some time too. And it's not free at all, so... If you put those portals up, it's good for us. And you know what? You guys have to unlock. You guys wasted way too much time here. Look at her, trying to be sneaky. No double, okay. Well played by her. She won the main game. Um, 
and we got that hit though very nice all right on the hook we go hello there you want to leave fine i don't know why this seems to be extremely common saving your sprint bus up to the point where you're gonna get hit for free very bad strategy i would not recommend it at all this guy's P100, by the way, the Nia, so she's not a new player, and she still does it. Sprintbus management is honestly a skill in itself, and a lot of the people that start using it now... ...just do not know how to manage it. Nice. Manage my game the Giant Gem. Hello there. You might not want to go here. Yeah? Eddie's kind of putting herself in a really bad spot, and she's gonna go down instantly. Damn, it's just crazy how I always know when someone mispositions themselves. Okay. Oh, I'm getting baited into thinking they will misposition themselves. In reality, they're totally fine. What does she have here? That's the real question, and this is not the safest palette, I think. Nope, it is not. We got her. We literally a took, by the way, which is totally possible nowadays, thanks to Pop... Uh, Pen resonance, really strong combo of all. And would you look at this? The gen completes actually. Damn, the commitment, even on Death Hook. Crazy. I respect it. So let's see if we can survive this car. But you get mine camped. Unlucky. I am honestly not sure which gen they're on. Okay. Is someone on that? They already know they're both stealthing. Ooh, this is so bad for them. I know where this Nia is stealthing. And there's no way she's gonna be opening the downtime. Anyone wanna select this? Be the toxic killer main that everyone always warned you about. Alright, I don't have to guess where you are. I can just portal real fast. She's certainly in the area here. And I don't think she has distortion. Even if I don't see her, I know she's in a locker, so... There she is. Oh. Unbreakable coming out, though. Okay. Does not vault. And she's walking. Interesting. Okay, let's put her on the hook. I don't think he can open the door in time, so... We have time. This should be the closest one, right? Ha! <laughs> Hello, brother. And uh, GG's. Our second underrated add-on is Oni's Iridescent Family Crest. This add-on is my personal favorite. It makes it impossible to hide from him in his power, which is literally one of the main ways to counter it. Larry's is one of the best maps to hide in, but we have the Iri add-on. That lets us find people within 24 meters in our power, which is super, super massive. One of the most underrated add-ons. Might be light. That was a really, really smart bait by her. She pathed inefficiently to bait chase on, on her, and then she used her life, so I don't get anything done. Applied by Rebecca, actually. These are the tiny nitpitty things that good players do. And now I chase her, and she's gonna be why we can chase. Yep, she is. Okay, I'm gonna leave her and go for a double hit, which I find better now, by the way, even against medkits. Mm. Okay, this cloud played as well. <laughs> okay, I jinxed her. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it now. So I don't know where anyone is, but I have the Eerie add on. Let's see if we can find people. Oh, there's no one around here, so they're all on this side of the map. That's good to know. I guess that works. Is anyone else around? Let's see. No, no one. What? There's no way. Oh, they're doubling their gen. Let's go. The guy was just standing there. Okay. Lux obviously don't scream. Makes sense. But we can prevent the gen from popping. Very nice. 
He's touched to the gen, so I can pop. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Very nice. Nice. The hesitation fake. On short paddles, that's always my favorite move. This one gonna pay us again. But someone touched it. Does someone around? No, no one around. We know that there's no one around. Even if no one screams, that's info for us. Yes. I'm pretty sure I saw someone else run, right? Hello. <laughs> There's no hiding against this. This is literally impossible to hide. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I find it crazy that I never see anyone play with this. Why Why does no one ever play with this? I don't think I've ever played against a single only with this add-on. I don't know why. It's so strong. And it's also so... So, it feels so good to play with, you know? No one will ever stealth you out. Ever. Ever. That doesn't happen. Not with this add-on. And it's so annoying when people stealth, but it will never happen if you have this add-on on. Calm spirit. Calm spirit is a myth. Yeah. Oh, I miss. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe. Maybe this is not it. Maybe this is not it. Maybe we shouldn't check out this my game. to draw i'm gonna leave her never talk about the mind game ever again there's one of the mind games yeah bro where are they this is why we have that on dude this is literally why you see how sneaky they play because it's larry's and here we get my power back i'm pre-running so hard i can't chase there has to be someone on this gen too right Great strategy being deployed by Claude. You know what? I'm gonna surprise Rebecca on her gen though. She's gonna run into me here, right? No, she's smart enough to go topside now. This guy is good. A good player. Really good. I think I'm gonna be greedy. I saw someone though. Overflick. Down. Can we get f more problem? This is a pain resonance sock. Then it's saved. Survivors are making a comeback. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this guy is definitely the the least aware one. Now we have three injured though. Someone touched that gen. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is the last guy that I would have expected that had on. They healed on the hook. No. Let's see if anyone is around. Oh, hello. Oh, she dialed back. That's smart. Oh. Bruh, good jokes, good jokes. Bro, I got auto aim on that. What do you mean? Can't drop it, right? No. Uh, madly impressed, honestly. I can't get it. Ooh, she doesn't leave. Nice. All right, let's start, start juicing up. Can we get power? The idea of she vaults. Yep, that's nice. One more. No, I need to go. Why didn't you just pop? Because the gen was already aggressing. I can't kick it.
Quack. Eh? A bit greedy, don't you think? So exist. Go back to her, kick it and pop it. Holy shit, what's that spot? Never seen that one before. I think they can pop it. Uh -huh. Well, someone's gonna pop it, that's for sure. But it's not you, dude. <laughs> this guy's playing relatively well, actually. Okay. Alright. Oh, that was not the best pathing, though. Oh, nice. They actually corped it. They didn't even hear. Should have gone back and checked. That was my bad. Or plate, adrenaline on top. Can I get enough blood? Where's the second gate? Right there. Okay, this guy's spooked. He's probably run pre running away from the gate now. No, is he inside? Where's he? Oh, you're right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Mega's not bad at all. Damn. These people were pretty good. Yeah, they were actually... I thought in the beginning, like... Okay, the... Alice was pretty lost, but the rest of them were really good. Our number three is an add-on with a cool park interaction. Billy's Leafy Mash gives him undetectable for 15 seconds after chainsawing a survivor, but infectious fright still makes survivors scream that we're inside his terror radius. Survivors absolutely do not expect undetectable slug Billy. Oh, oh my god, we got so lucky. All right, Billy also has a very sneaky add-on that almost no one, no one uses that has a very interesting interaction with infectious fright. So... Oh, not, not quite, not quite. I don't think this is possible. We need to run it the normal way. Very nice. And C. Did Infectious trigger? No, it did not. This guy is sadly out of range. There's no way. Do you actually not look around at all? <laughs> I mean, we got really close to him. There we go. Okay, second down. Let's see. Can we continue it? Still, no Infectious. Oh my god. Oh, because I'm already undetectable, and so I just ran inside my chainsaw. All right, obviously we can't get undetectable if we're already... Uh, no, we can't get infected if we're already undetectable. That makes total sense. Did you drop down? Hello, Nancy. What a bloodbath. Oh, I actually got spun. All right, there we go. Now we know. Oh, there are two people over there. They're healing in the corner. And I want to keep the undetectable if possible. I'm going to chainsaw this one. And this little thing has a trick. If you bamboozle and then you go back, the survivor will run straight into you because it turns into a dead end, obviously. Let's go for some hooks. I don't want to slug all game, but I think you can kind of see the potential of this. Especially because, I mean, be honest, guys. Have you ever played against this? Ever. Probably not, right? And uh, that is the power of the underused add-ons. They don't get the power from raw strength. They get the power because no one knows how to play around them. All right, there's a Sabo coming in. Let's go to this hook. Everyone is injured here, so... Hello, Yui. I mean, we got really lucky on the map. I didn't force this map. This also works... I, I don't think this is some... This is not some gimmick that only works on indoor maps. You can easily make this work on others, too. All right, we got an infectious spray. Where's this guy going? Are you just staying there? Where even are you? What? Oh. Hello, hello. Okay. Jeff is healing in the corner. Let's put him on a hook. Does not seem super happy about this whole situation. Barbecue is very useless on this map, obviously. They went up. Pretty sure they want to go for the slug, right? 
If I break this die and my chainsaw quicker, by the way. Lola. Very nice, clean calf. Let's put on the hook. No infectious proc either. I don't know what Ada is. Is she giving up already? That is totally fair, I'm gonna be honest. This is a bit of a slaughter. And he's leaving the room, interesting. Where are you going? Back to it. Good W, it's Mipper Chaft all. Suddenly a map that is very W heavy. And we see all three of them. Okay, can we get a snowball going? I kind of want to try. <laughs> he tried to DH, but it failed. And we see Yui over here. Oh my god! The third one. Can we finish it off? <laughs> No, Jeff is up. All right, I'm gonna hook them. Holy, it is so fun though. You just snowball with the add-on. No, he makes it nice. All right, Jeff, it's on you again. He's always the snowball starter. I don't know why. I'll probably hook him next time. Okay, dude. I think he's death hook. Let's put him on the hook. Barbecue and Chili's gonna help us find the, the others. Oh my god. He's going for it. I respect it. Barely doesn't get the hit. Okay. There was a time where Billy got every hit if someone vaulted a pallet and he destroyed the pallet. And now that he doesn't get any of them, time's changed. All right, no infectious proc. Okay, Nancy. Are you gonna fall for it? I mean, there's no way out, really. There's no way not to fall for it. So... All right, GG's. Number four actually goes to two Wesker add-ons that both have a downside, but are still some of the strongest add-ons he has. Unicorn Medallion and Jewel Beetle. Medallion makes his dashes more even, which really helps to counter a lot of common tiles like Jungle Gems or Shack. And Jewel Beetle allows Wesker to throw survivors more easily, which makes zoning a lot easier. Throwing survivors has quite a few advantages. It also has some downsides. But mainly, it's extremely strong for zoning survivors. You throw them into a corner and then you zone them away from everything. And they cannot reach any loops anymore. So you can pretty much get the second hit on top. And let's see if we can demonstrate this on R. Now, instead of grabbing her, we threw. Which means our power cooldown is way less and blood favor is blocking this pallet which means she's instantly dead this is why beetle is so strong and also obviously in combination with blood favor it's a beautiful combination they're already healed all right let's faster the people on the gen we can arrive a little bit in style here no they're on that side very smart wesker can also fly off hills if done properly that might be a life play nope it is not Very nice. See? And now Blood Favor blocks the pallet. She's gonna run through. She doesn't have anything and we are on her. Down she goes. This is the advantage that Beetle has. Whoops. Okay, no one saw that. I thought this was pretty decent when it came out, but you honestly don't need any support add-ons. If you just get good enough with knowing how to throw survivors, you can just pull it off and it's gonna win you games. Literally by itself. Both of those add-ons are probably some of the strongest add-ons that Wesker has if played properly. Well, Blood Favor's gone, but I think I think we got our, uh, a life value already, honestly. 
We still have five gens here. Penrose is also gonna hurt them a lot. Someone is rescuing. Let's go over there. It is a Stevie. He did not go in. That was a wise choice by him. This pallet still stands. I'm gonna predict that he doesn't use it though. What? Okay, I just vaulted that. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Fair and square. Alright, let's see if he falls for this mind game. Um, okay. I am <laughs> lost for words, honestly. Alright, mind game again. Oh, he went around. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I think he got uh, mind games a tiny bit there. And he allows us to throw himself, so now he's kind of in trouble. What does he do here? Going for this pallet. But no, we barely miss. I could have definitely gotten that. Damn, there are three pallets around here. Interesting. Now he's gonna throw it. Certainly. I can just go to the pad in the back. What? Uh, what just happened? Excuse me, did I just go through the rock? Okay, I'm not sure what's happening with this game, but... I am certainly getting robbed. He's fully infected now, though. Not much joking to be done. Very nice. Down he goes. All right. Holy. That was one hell of a chase. I don't know what went on for half of it, but that's okay. Put him on his guard truck. And Barbecue and Shelly giving Cheva away. She thinks she's hiding. She was in range. Also, a perk that is very underutilized nowadays. Information is pretty important. And having one of those in your build is massive. Another throw into the wall. What can she do? Not much. Oh, I don't make that. Okay. Life coming out. Oh, a good fake out by her. But this is a grab for sure. Nice. See Rebecca there, obviously. Okay, I'm just gonna hook her. There's still a corner there. Damn, there are a lot of pallets around here. Blood Lodge? New Blood Lodge has a lot of pallets, not gonna lie. Lots and lots of pallets. Did... Did she just GC? Those are her scratch marks. What? Okay. I don't know what's going on in this game. This is actually the weirdest game I have played in a long time in DVD. Let's see if we can find Feng. The other two sadly died on the Herc. I think this game already showcased how strong both of these add-ons are, to be honest. And we can throw our edge map here. And Unicorn. Allowing us to instantly charge the longer fast dash again. Alright, GG's. Another extremely underrated add-on is on Ghostface. Driver license activates when marking a survivor repairing a generator. The generator regresses by 20% and gets blocked for 15 seconds. That is more regression than old eruption. If used well, this add-on allows Ghostface to control gens over distance and is incredibly frustrating for survivors to deal with. Oh, that is a perfect 99 on Nancy. That's going to be useful later. I can assure you that. And that is the driver's license. Not very used, but we can see it in action here. Once you fully stalk a survivor, while they're walking a generator, the generator blocks and they instantly lose 20% gen progress. Which is a pretty significant amount, honestly. Maybe we can get this TV here. Good life by him. Oh, he makes the pallet gem, doesn't he? Yes. Very nice, we got it done. So, 20% gen regression and 20 seconds of not being able to work the generator is honestly massive. It's a bit like old eruption. It feels incredibly bad when someone pulls it off against you. Pretty Nancy, I would imagine. Hello, hello, hello.
Not get exposed. Very nice. And we got stock progress on him for later. That's so good. So Nia is the only one that we haven't stocked that much at all. I would consider hitting her probably. We have less cooldown because of our add-on. This is definitely going to be handy. <laughs> all right, let's go. Well, if you stay by the pallet, I can just reveal you. So that's a fair game mod all, all around. This is Scout Shark. Still walking that? No. No, he's not. Okay. This is the most progress generator. And maybe we can get Nancy here and activate it again. We can. Let's go. Would you look at this? Another 20% off the generator. And this is blocked, so Stevie cannot walk on it at all, even if he wanted to. Good thing is that we have 60 seconds, so we have a little bit of time to fool around. <laughs> Being an extremely experienced killer obviously helps in those situations. Knowing how to play stuff and discounts activates again. I wonder, are we on time for this? Might be a little bit late, depending on which positions they're in here. I hope I can see Carlos. No, I cannot. Okay, I'm gonna kick the gen. I don't want to hit him. He's nearly fully exposed. Lithe. Well used. Oh. This pair is still a thing, but he needs to win the mind game here. But he's looking good so far. Oh, he won it. Where's he going? Does he make another pallet? No, he doesn't. That is certainly a down. Very nice. That turn is not that progress. We can get a pain rest here. Very easily. Okay, and yeah. Very nice try. I can hear you where you're going. I have ears. Yeah, I need to drop this. They're both blocking. I don't have any stock on her, so we're gonna hit her. Now, probably go for some stock, if possible. Very nice. That's nearly 99 already. And no, I didn't want to do that. Idea. Lost TV. I think it was a little bit lost on where I was. There is no pallet for you, sir. Ah! Wish I could have kept the stock on Nancy, but sadly we exposed her. And we got both hooks now. No. Damn. A bit of stock. The cooldown is so low that this is worth it. We get it back very fast, especially because we have the brown add-on for more cooldown. And sneaky stock angle. Very nice. Can we expose her? Can we expose anyone? This gen doesn't look like it, sadly. Oh. That is off the record. And let's stalk a little bit again. Halfway stalked. That's good. Good to know. I don't think you make this. He agrees. He's just gonna leave. And one gen finishes. This is the last pain rest of the game. But we are already six hooks in, so... I think driver license delayed the game a lot, honestly. Get a clean lean off? Not really. He's nearly stalked already, so... It's fine. Oh, 
Oh, he's back on the gen, isn't he? Yo, I say no to that. No to gen rush. Oh, he knows. So smart, dude. He can drop Shaq on us, and looks like he wants to. Looks like Nancy wants to. He's dropping the pallet for him. That is even better for him. See where he's going afterwards, though. Damn, the squad is rolling out. Ghostface is one trick against hit tanks, though. Oh! Barely not, okay. I mean, there are two people here. They're all helping him. I respect that. Lithe, nice. If they help him a tiny bit more, I think he's out. Oh my god, he just ran into the tree. Let's go. Let's try, let's try. Was trying to hide in the corner. Didn't quite work out, unluckily. And Nancy's going for the unhook. Everyone is deathhook by now. Sadly, the boy block did not work out. Let's put Nancy on the hook, and that should be a wrap, honestly. Wonder if she knows that I'm behind her. <laughs> Does she know I am? I'm not sure. She's not taking any chances. Right, GG's.